All right, welcome back, guys. Today we're going back to 1988 and checking out this Queensryche classic, Breaking the Silence from the Operation Mind Crime album. Now, this is the solo we're looking at today, and it's um, actually was played by both guitar players at the time, Michael Wilton and Chris DeGarmo. Chris DeGarmo uh, played the first and third sections, and Michael Wilton played the second and fourth sections but uh, as you saw in the demo I did all four together so I'm gonna show you this as if you were uh, wanting to learn all four parts and try to put them together there's some overlap in some of the phrases if you have two guitar players it's a great idea to split it up I certainly would uh, with two lead players in the band but we're just gonna cover this uh, as a study uh, for a great solo by a great band and by two really kick-ass guitar players. So, um, if you know me at all, uh, you know Queensryche is one of my favorite bands of all time. Definitely top five, especially the early stuff. We can go on and on about where they went wrong <laughs> or where, uh, you know, where they lost me a little bit. Um, but the early stuff with Jeff Tate, is what I still go back to today and uh, certainly the Operation Mind Crime album is a bona fide classic with not one dud on the whole album it's an amazing album so um, we're gonna take a look at this uh, a great um, couple solos here by these guys I think um, one of the cool things about the Operation Mind Crime album is the solos seem very composed and actually they also kind of took that form into uh, Empire where the solos seemed very uh, composed kind of like how Randy Rhodes would compose his solos they're parts you know they're not just uh, licks and stuff these actually are very melodic statements so this is a good study in um, learning how to craft your own solos. Um, there's some technical stuff going on here that's fairly quick, and to put the whole thing together is, uh, you know, will require some some fairly advanced chops. So this is a good um, solo for your intermediate guys to really work on, and for you, uh, for you more advanced guys. Um, still a great study in how to compose a solo so we'll get to that in just a second before we do in the description box down below there is the tab for this as well as uh, my free sweet picking guide sweet picking boot camp okay so let's get started this is in standard tuning uh, as most of the Queen Queensryche stuff was I think up until promised land that's when they started tuning down a little bit but uh, this one, uh, so we're in the key of G here in standard tuning. The, um, the bulk of the solo is right out of G minor pentatonic or G natural minor. But um, the chords um, would suggest G natural minor. So let's take a look at the backing chord. So what's going on in the background? <laughs> That kind of thing. It does both of those sections twice. It just kind of goes up to a. So here's the G. Then what you want to do is form kind of like a a D chord here, but instead of the open string, open fourth string and second fret, play the open third. Uh, I mean the open fourth string and the third fret separately from the G. So. Then back to the G, and then go down to the second fret on the G string to play that to play that uh, the D form there. Just in case we're not obviously where this isn't the riff lesson, but it's important for you guys to know what you're playing over here. Okay, and then F. 
that's the flat seven chord in the key of G minor. Um, and then the, the second time it just goes. That's F again, but then it goes down to E flat. Okay, so that's the uh, flat six chord in the key of G minor, which really kind of lets you know that we're in the G Aeolian mode here. All right, so that's it. Uh, this, uh, at the very end, it does this. Before, um, you know, it comes out of the solo there, and there's a little line, a uh, little guitar line there that kind of follows that. So let's get started here. So the first part of the solo is done by Chris DeGarmo. Um, and this uh, starts out with this harmonic. And then a whammy dive. Okay, this is just outside of the third fret. You have to hit it in just the right spot. Okay, I'm not pressing down on the string here. It's the, it's the open harmonic. Okay, that's the sound you want, then just dive bomb it. Okay, then. And that's just, and that's so we're we're thinking G minor pentatonic here, or G minor natural, natural minor scale. So the the bend is on the fifth fret on the G string, and then you're gonna uh, bend that up, lower it. Uh, bend it up a whole step, return it, pull it off to the third fret, come back to the fifth fret, and then a little slide here from three to five, back to three on the G string. Okay, so we have this so far. Okay, then we're gonna go into this fast legato run. So it's three, four, six, four, three on the B string. You're just gonna pick the first note, hammer on, pull off, back to the fifth fret on the G. Um, on that third, after the third time, you're gonna go up to the high E string on the sixth fret. And then back to the fifth fret on the G, and then to the sixth fret on the B, and then the third fret on the uh, on the D string. So it sounds like this. That's the ending part. And there's a little dip there with the whammy bar. So it'll make more sense in context. Okay, so the lick all together slow would sound like this. Okay, a little slower. Okay, now immediately after that, the second part of the solo begins. This is where I mean there's a little crossover between the parts. Um, if you're not ha if you don't have two guitar plugs, you'll have to jump right in to this next part here, which uh, was uh, Michael Wilton's part. So we're gonna climb up. Um, we're gonna climb up the G minor scale. <laughs> There's a couple ways you can play this. Uh, I'm going to show you just for three notes per string, just for for ease of demonstration. But you could play, you know, you could play in this position here, like that. Or. to you it really doesn't matter it's the same notes whatever's more comfortable for your picky hand 
or your fretting hand, or however you want to do it. So. Notice that some 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 strings or some notes were playing three times and some were playing two times. There's a very specific rhythm to this. So make sure you follow the tab, but listen to the rhythm. Okay, so it's got a very uh, a very definite pulse to it. See right there at the end, it's only playing those twice. So up to here, it's. One two three, 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 one two one two. We we'll do the same thing on the next set of notes. Okay, so those last two notes of the six in each group are only played twice. Um, the notes are five seven. Or I'm sorry, three five seven. I'm sorry, 356, 356, 357, 357, or 356, 356, 35 on the D, and then 4, 5, I'm sorry, 2, man, my counting is way off today, 2, 3, 5, 3, all right, you can tell I haven't done a video in a while. So, um, but I'm showing you the three number string version. Now, notice the muting, right? So you're gonna palm mute that. Um, experiment around with how much you like, how, mu how much you like to, to mute, and at what point do you want certain notes to pop out. After that, we're gonna do this. Cool lick there. So again, G minor pentatonic, three six three on the B with a hammer on pull off. Five G. Then we're gonna play three four three, and then five on the G, and then back to uh, three six three. So it'd be like this. Then we're going to slide up to 7 on the G. So we'll play 7, seven G and then 6, 8, 6 on the B. So we're going to have this. So it's 6, 8, 6, back to 7 on the G. 6, 8 on the B and then 5 on the high E and then we're going to bend up 8 whole step pull off to 6 on the B string and then 8 up a whole step on the um, high E string okay so here it is slow Okay, and you'll notice these, these notes here are kind of crammed in there. Yeah, that's the way it should be, so. so. I put all that together in kind of a medium tempo. So that's the first Michael Wilkin, uh, Wilton part. And then the next part would belong to Chris DeGarmo. And here we're coming all the way up to the 15th fret on the G string. Slide up and then we're gonna play 15, um, uh, sorry, 17, pull off to 15 on the B. Then back to 15 G. And then skip over to the high E and play 18 to 15 on the high E, pull off. And then that note there would be 15 on the B. And then 17 on the high E, so. Very cool and inventive. Okay, so. Okay, 
Okay, so after that one, we've got this cool little... Kind of a little uh, intervallic slide thing on the B and the high E. It's going to go 15, B, 17, high E. 15, B, slide back to 14. 16, high E. Back to 14 on the B, so... And then it has this cool little run at the end. That's 13, 14 on the B. 15, G, 13, B. 14, 15, G, so... And then end the run by playing 12 on the uh, G string. There's a little mute on that too. Okay, so that's... So, all that together... Right from here, we're going to come down... Some octaves, so we're gonna play five and seven on the uh, on the on the A and the G strings. Then eight and ten on the um, same strings. All these are on the same strings. Eight and ten, so three, five, back up to five and seven, and then one and three, and then. Five, so it would sound like this. Okay, so when we come out of this, and I'm just sliding that in. And I'm doing this. There's a little dip at the end. The notes are. Uh, two, three on the uh, G string, five on the D, uh, yeah, back to two on the G, three on the D, five G, uh, and then back to three on the. Uh, on the D string there. Okay, it was a little dip with your bar there. All right, so that whole phrase. And by the way, I love this lick. Such a cool, inventive lick. I mean, where did that come from? So awesome. I miss Chris DeGarmo, man. I miss Chris DeGarmo. All right, so, and I miss the old Queens right too. I have to say it. All kudos to the new group and all that, but man, I miss that original group. So, um, then the last part of the solo uh, comes up, and Michael Wilton's back at it, and it's. Uh, same. Yeah. So we'll start with a pull off on 15 to 13 on the high E. Bend up 15, a whole step. And then do that again. But this time add some vibrato to it. So. So we're coming out of this. Now we're going to play 15, 13, pull off again. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Let me think this through. It's, easy, it's actually easier to play it at tempo here. Yeah, that's right. So pull off 15 to 13. Uh, bend. And then do it again. 
vibrato, and then one more time, 15 to 13. Then we're going to go all the way up to 17, so stretch your hand out. 17, pull off to 13. Uh, 17, 13, high E, 15 B, 13 high E, three times. Okay. Then we're going to go 15, 13, pull off again. So, uh, so the whole lick would be... And then it finishes like this, 15, 13. And then 17, 15, 13 on the high E, pull off. Then 17, B, 13, high E twice. And then one more time, 15, 13, 17, 13, high, uh, 17, 13 on the B and the high E. So it's actually just easier to, to hear, to watch me do it and then check the tab, right? So. Hopefully that makes sense. And then we're gonna go to the, the B string and go like this. Okay, and this is again, 17, 13. Pull off, do that twice with a pull off. And then 14 on the G. And 13 on the B and do that twice. And then do it one more time. And then play 14 G, and then we're gonna do this little climb. See? At the very end, it's 12, 14, 15. And then 13 on the B, bend that up a whole step. And then release it. And that's at the very end of the solo there. All right, so this is a little tricky to play. See, I just messed it up there. And with licks like that, um, that have specific uh, little specific little movements within within a, a shape. You really just have to memorize it and let the muscle memory take over without thinking about it too much. And, and you forget it quite easily if a couple days have gone by between learning the solo and then doing a video like I'm doing right now. So I apologize for that, guys. But all the what I just showed you is correct. All the notes on the tab are correct as far as I can tell. Um, this is how I would play it live or how I would uh, teach it to another guitar player to play it live and that's it That's the whole solo have fun with this um, Take your time and work it up to speed. It definitely took me a little while just to be able to, to Put it all together smoothly and um, you can definitely do this. So it's well worth learning. So with that said um, once again, make sure and check the uh, tab uh, down below in the description box as well as my free sweet picking guide and I'll see you next time rock on <laughs>